Hey guys, this is Brian with Turp Mechanic Gardens. Today I'm germinating corn. Actually, I'm putting a lot of corn down in the garden outside, but I'm also sprouting seeds here in my kitchen, here on the kitchen counter. I'm using a fairly controlled, not fairly, a very controlled setup. I got a heating mat with a temperature control thermometer. So when the heat gets too high, it turns off. When it gets too low, it turns back on. I've got space outside for 49 plants. Maybe it's 48, something like that. So I've got a few extra seeds and I have one of those seeds that has germinated, but it has not yet sprouted. I said many times on the Turpin Canic channel, and I'm sure I'm gonna say it a lot of times on this channel as well. When seeds germinate, the tap root comes out first or the root system comes out first. And then later the top growth happens. There's my thermometer with my temperature probes. I've been keeping it here on my heat mat. This one, however, has been germinating here on the counter. So it's a little bit slower than if it's on the heat mat. What's cool about these little seed starting trays is that they're deep. They've got slits on the side for air and big holes on the bottom to be able to pull these uh, starters out. Now, if you look really close, you'll notice that I don't have a shoot growing, but down here, there is a root. So because I have extra plants, I figured this was a great learning experience. Let's pull this out, take it apart here on the napkin so we can see what it looks like. So bringing this over here, I'm just gonna pull my probe out because I don't think I need it anymore. This probe was bought on Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. The seed cell tray though is really cool. Um, this is one of uh, Kevin's six cell trays that he sells over on Epic Gardening. I'm sure there are other fantastic trays out here. These are the best trays that I've ever used. Um, I really like the slits and quite honestly, what I like most is they're just so darn easy to pull out. So once you start growing something, if it's got a flower or some sort of growth on top or roots sticking at the bottom, it's just really easy to pop them out. So in this one, I don't have a root coming out the bottom, but it's coming out the side. All I gotta do is shove my thumb in there and just kind of give it a push. And it pops out. So I've done this with other plants with more substantial roots popping out. They all come out roughly the same. Now this one, because there's no leaf on top and I'm not gonna use this plant, I'm just gonna use this plant for demonstration purposes. Let's just bust it open. <laughs> Check that out, that's cool. So you can see, and here the taproot comes up. It makes sense, just thinking about it reasonably, is to plant your seed down like that so that it doesn't have to work hard. It just puts a taproot straight down. And then a little bit later, the shoot is gonna start emerging from the top. Now corn, being a grass, is a monocot. So it's not gonna come up with those two leaves that we're used to seeing. Corn comes up as a single blade, just like a blade of grass, just a really fat, thick one. I'm gonna go rinse this off in the water so we can see it even better. All right, now I've washed it. I'm not gonna scrub that extra dirt off, but as I washed it, I can actually see that the shoot is starting to come out of the side. It hasn't come all the way up the top. So if I turn the orientation, we can kind of get it on camera. See how it's coming out the side? It's almost like an extension of the root coming right up the side of the kernel. And then it's gonna start emerging from the soil. Of course, if this was still in the soil. I'm actually curious how long I can keep this out of the ground like this and then replant it. So that's what a corn kernel looks like when it's, once it starts germinating into a plant, but before the seedling or the sprout has emerged from the soil. To continue on with this experiment, I'm gonna go outside and dig this into the ground somewhere and just see uh, how it grows. Cause I don't know, it might die. It might grow very slowly, sluggishly. It might not, it might actually grow amazingly. So make sure to follow along for other corn growing experiments and all of the other stuff that I put out here on this channel. 